This board is from a Xerox typewriter. You can see it's a 8031 Intel processor. If you're a quartz crystal there, I'm assuming this is like a ROM or a BIOS or something, because it has a little indentation there where you flash it with something. If you flash it with like, I think UV or something like that, it, um, it erases it. That's why it had the label over it. Tardy and, wait, what does that say? It's stuck to my shorts. Tetaren battery. Piazzo beeper, or speaker, it would beep, 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 beep. Two very big capacitors here. Power connector, I still have the transformer for this. Different connectors, I forgot this one. Let me see if there's, oh. Here's the cable. That's just like where I shield it in here. And that just goes into here. Yeah. You can see I pulled up the spec sheet here for the thing. It's a Intel 8031 family processor. Frequency is 3.5 to 12 megahertz, 40 pin plastic dip, socket dip 40. So yeah, data width 8 bit. Physical memory, 128, 64 KB kilobytes of code, and 64 kilobytes of data. Here's your specs here. Here's, these are the on-chip peripherals, physical memory, data width, and the manufacturing process. So that's the architecture and microarchitecture. Your socket, your package, your frequency, your, your um, MCU part number and your family, your type. So yeah, I, I was looking at different numbers on there. At first, I put up that that red text there to see if that would get me anything. I found nothing for it. So I typed in the the uh, P eight zero three one A H, and that worked. Is a Toshiba chip there? I think this might be random. These, a couple of these are T I chips. This uh, I can. No, that's too tight. This one isn't even socketed like this one. This one is just soldered in. And it's stuck to my shorts again. There it goes. You can see where it's soldered in right here and right here. You can see this. Uh, there's some diodes right here. They've gotten hot apparently. The whole reason I got took this thing apart was the keyboard wasn't working right. Uh, yeah. Resistor, big caps. Let me see where's the. Right there, these two diodes in this resistor. But that's the power connector. Let me see if I can find the uh, thing. One moment, please. Here's the power transformer for it. It puts out. It has a uh, multiple outputs for it. So you have three connections here and another connection there. The big space in between. Standard IEC plug. No built-in cord. Capacitor. Discharge resistor. Fuse. The switch that I had to cut some wires off of because I needed the wires for something else because these are regular old spade connectors. Pretty easy transformer. Let's see where the power connector in this is. I believe it's yeah, it's this one right here. This I believe this just sat here. Yep. This sat here. This went on it like that. You go to the back. You have it off and on, on, turn on, turn it off. This, I believe, went to the keyboard or something. This, I'm not sure, it's like a telephone type Ethernet looking thing. Not sure where this connected to, I can't remember. Yeah, it's like a connector like that. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure what that was for either. I have another typewriter in that closet over there. It's a brother. It's a, this is all. This is a Daisy Wheel printer. That one's a Daisy Wheel printer. That one has a display output, for, I believe CGA or EGA. I can't remember. I had a monitor that was similar to this, except it was on the swivel stand. Um, yeah. Let me see. What is this? Some of the TI chips. Get my take my headphones off of this thing here. Put them onto the monitor. New. So this is a Nebo Big Larry flashlight. Let's see, there's a TI chip right there. Let's see, that one's TI, I think. Let me see. Actually, 
No, that's not TI. That one's TI right there. One's a Texas Instruments chip. Oh, that's uh, that's where this plugs in right here. This is where this plugs in. This goes right here. Like that. I'm not sure what this was for. This is like some sort of communication thing. I don't know. This is a Xerox typewriter. I believe I still have the uh, daisy wheel for it. This daisy wheel for this one wasn't encased in a shell. The one for the brother typewriter in that closet there is encased in like a clear plastic shell. Uh, yeah. Just wanted to show this here. I want to thank you guys for watching. Peace out.